All right, we're back with number 43 in AutoCAD. So now we're going to um, draw on our object layer. And in order to do that, I'm going to come up here and click where it says construction. And I'm just going to pick object. And now object shows up in that box. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually trace over the um, views. And I'm going to get rid of the construction lines after I do that. So in order to be able to make sure I get exactly on those spots, I'm going to use something called Object Snap, which is down here. And you can click on this down arrow and it rolls out. You can also click on Object Snap Settings and it brings up a nice little dialog box for you. I'm going to turn on Endpoint, Center, Quadrant, and Intersection. I'm going to make sure everything else is off. Midpoint will drive you crazy unless you need a midpoint. So we're good to go and it's on. Right now the toggle button to turn it on and off is F3 if you don't want to actually go into the menu. So I'm going to click on line and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to get a green X and I'm going to click on the X and then I'm going to go there and click. Everywhere I see an X in the front view I'm going to click and when I come back to the end it's actually going to be a square for endpoint. Then I'm going to right click and press enter. I'm going to do the same thing on the top view X X, 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 press enter, line, X, 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 there you go. You can either press enter or you can right click and select enter, either or. So now I have my views outlined and I'm going to come up here to my layer dialog box and I'm going to turn off under layer control, I'm going to click the little light bulb next to construction and you'll notice that the construction lines went away. The construction lines are still there, I've just turned them off. So now the next step is to draw the circles in this thing to make it look like a piece of Swiss cheese. So you guys know that whenever you draw a circle you have to know where the circle is going. So we're going to use offset to find the centers of the circles. I'm going to type in offset, enter, and for the big circle it goes over 1.5 and it also goes up 1.5 so I'm just going to click this bottom line and click above it and press enter and now my cursor is out of offset and where the, those two lines cross is where the circle is going to be. Under the circle command you're going to select circle center diameter because it tell, I know the diameter. Come on over here, find, click on the X and the diameter is 1.5, enter, and AutoCAD draws a circle. So now we're going to do the two small circles the exact same way. I'm going to type in offset, enter, distance to offset 1.5, we're going to go this way 1.5, enter, offset, enter, and the center of the bottom hole is 1, so 1, enter, click, click above it, and that's where the bottom hole goes. So I'm going to press enter to get out of offset, back to circle, center diameter, pick the point, type in the diameter which is 0.75. Remember the 2x in front of it on the drawing just means that you have two of the same. So now we're going to find the center of the third circle. Type in offset, and this one is over one and down one from the top, so one. This line goes to the left one and this line comes down one and that's the center of the other circle. Press enter, circle, center diameter, and we're going to type in 0.75 again. Now I have a whole bunch of circles that I don't really need. I mean a whole bunch of lines I don't really need, so I'm just going to click on those you can actually draw a box around them if you want and just press delete on your keyboard. And you guys know that whenever you have a circle it looks like a circle in one view and in the other two views it's a hole which is two hidden lines on either side and yeah I know circles don't have sides but we are going to come up to object and we are going to get on our hidden layer. I'm going to click on line and since I have object snap on, I'm going to come over to this side and I'm going to get a diamond neck on the circle. Because you guys can always remember that when you project circles in AutoCAD, diamonds are a girl's best friend. So click there, drag it straight through, press enter, 
whoops, drag it straight through, click and press enter, click on line, click on the diamond, drag it straight through, click, press enter, and if we're going up, we might as well get these guys. Press enter, line, press click, press enter, and here I'll show you a shortcut. To recycle a command, right click somewhere in the black and pick repeat line. So here we go, straight up, click, enter, right click, repeat line, diamond, straight up, enter. And whatever goes up must go to the right, so we might as well get them. Right click, repeat line, get your diamonds all the way across, click enter, right click, repeat line, diamond all the way across, click, enter, right click, repeat line. Do the same thing for these two little circles. And now you have a whole mess. Repeat line and get the last one here. Just there we go. And now you've got a whole mess of stuff you don't need and stuff you do need. So now we're going to use a new command called trim. And trim doesn't work the way it did in Inventor. So we're going to press escape to make sure we're not in a command and we're going to type in the word trim. Your cursor turns into a box and you have to select the boundaries before you select what you want to trim. So I want to keep everything between these two lines. So I'm going to select this is a boundary and that is a boundary. Then I'm going to right click and notice I get a new command from AutoCAD that says select object to trim. So I'm just going to click these lines, get the little red X next to them telling me, yep, you're getting rid of these. And then you can also draw a box around them to get rid of them quicker. Enter. We're going to trim again. So type in trim, or you can right click and pick repeat trim. Enter. I want everything between these two boundaries. Right click, draw a box around what you don't want. Oop, I missed a couple over there. And enter. Well, now I've got my hidden lines done, but there's another kind of line that I have to do. You guys remember what that is? That would be the center lines. So we're going to click on center line. We're going to click on line, and we're going to come to the center of the circle. And center is designated with a circle in OSNAP. Isn't that convenient? And we're going to drag these straight up. Click and enter. Right click, repeat line. Do it for all of your circles. Repeat line. Whoops. Repeat line, come to the center, click, and enter. We're also going to go to the right, because what goes up must go right. And you'll notice that I'm getting a square in these when I go to uh, object snap. It's because it's finding the end point of the center line. It's fine. So now you guys know something about center lines. Center lines do not stop at the edge of the drawing. They actually stick out an eighth of an inch. So we're going to press enter, escape, we're going to press escape, get out of whatever command we're in, and type in offset. Type in 0.125. That's an eighth of an inch in decimal. Press enter. Click this line, click above it. Click this line, click below it. Do the same thing over here. What we're doing is we're giving ourselves boundaries to, to um, trim our center lines too. So now I'm going to press enter and I'm going to type in trim. And for my boundaries, I'm going to pick this guy and this guy. Right click, get rid of these three, get rid of this stuff. Enter. And we're going to do the same thing up top. So right click, repeat trim. Pick this, pick that, right click. Get rid of what you don't need. Enter. Now we're going to just delete these lines by clicking on them because we don't need them anymore. And pressing delete. To put the circles, to put the center lines on the circles, we're going to do something totally different. We're going to come up to annotate. And where it says dimensions, if you look way over in this little corner, there's this uh, down arrow, this kind of like diagonal arrow I guess, click on that and it's going to bring up the style manager. Go to modify 
and under symbols and arrows where it says center marks pick line tell it OK close go back home make sure you're on your center layer type in dim center one word enter click the circle right click repeat dim center click the circle right click repeat dim center click the circle press enter whoops press escape and now we're going to put our name on it up here where it says text first of all get on your object layer up here where it says text pick single line text click press enter press enter again and type your name press enter twice again and you're done to print your drawing go to the A go to print and it's going to bring up the plot dialog box because back in the day they called printing plotting I am going to when it says what to plot choose window take the cursor it creates draw a big box around your drawing click and tell it OK and it'll go to the printer. We are printing to the regular printer guys, the 5430.